Okay guys, I'm catching fish. And if you're new to trout fishing and you want to catch fish like this, it's rip and lips fly fishing. Okay. Rip and lips fly fishing. You can find them on Instagram, find them on Facebook. And it's all the difference in the world is to have a professional that does this every day. I know a lot of you, you only have one or two free weekends a year. So why not invest a little bit of money, get a good guide, have a great time. You know, you're going to take that time off from work. You're going to rent a hotel room. You're going to drive all the way up here. Fuel's expensive. Invest a little bit of money in a guide. And uh, Tom will be glad to put you on fish like this. And just to show you how good he is, I have a fish on now too. Another one. So let's see if we can get this one in. More wood on them, and we'll get them up here into the net. What kind is this one, Tom? That's cutthroat? Cutthroat, yeah. Okay. You can tell he's kind of bouncing the rod. Boom, boom, uh -huh. boom. They're head shakers. That's their characteristic. And Tom, the way you run your operation, this would be really great for somebody that's inexperienced that wants to learn oh, about yeah. this type of fishing. Or... Oh, yeah. I'm great by, uh, with teaching, you know, first timers and, you know, new people into the sport. And, and for all those guys that have been in Crawley 10 times and never caught a fish? This, this would be a great experience for them. That's right. Put a little more pressure, get him to the surface. Okay. And then, oh, he's, got oh, he's on spunk. the top fly, too. Yeah, top fly. He's got a little spunk in him, don't he? So yeah. Once he's on the surface, just kind of skim him right up here into the net for him. All right. Well, he's not right, quite ready, is he? Oh, uh, he wants to run. He's fired up. Love it. Right, right there, okay. drag him. Drag him, drop. Don't let him go back down. It's real important once you get the fish in the net that you give it slack because I've seen so many times when fish get in nets, people keep the line tight and the fish jumps out. So, yeah. especially with this, with it breaks the hook off. Yeah. All right, hook just fell right out. The beautiful part about fishing a barbless hook is it comes out nice and easy. Makes things easier on everybody. All right, Tom. There's our beautiful fish right here, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful fish here. We're only going to keep a couple of these. We're going to let the sky go. But it's just beautiful, just great fishing here. That's right. All right, let's let this guy go. Thanks, Dan. There he goes.